Hello, everybody. Feroz Ami here, and I'm here with Todd Gross. Like, there's no words to actually describe Todd. You all know Todd. <laughs> and he's coming with one of the amazing technologies he's ever done on the 12th of August. But there's a really private pre launch on the 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern Daytime. Right? That's right. right. Eastern Eastern Daylight Time. A lot of people call it Eastern Standard Time, but Correct. at this Correct. time of year, it's theoretically Eastern Daylight Time. And uh, we'll be talking about what that special, special, very special deal is as we are going to unleash something called Synthesis AI Studio. And for us, let me tell you, some folks already have some of our Synthesis products, but right. this one, when I show you inside later, you'll you'll know right off the bat that this is the best of all because it's a culmination of everything else that we've put together before all under one roof we're talking about three things number one we're talking about the absolute best text to image that you've ever seen the quality i'm nice. looking at it it's funny because i have two screens up yeah. and one of the screens right now is showing me all the images i made two days ago within just a few minutes and yeah. They're so beautiful and they're so accurate, both in terms of the humans that were produced by the prompts I typed in and by the scenery that it's breathtaking. And it's actually, I think my, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. So this sounds like hyperbole, all right? But right. I think my pulse is actually beating a little bit faster than it normally is looking at these freaking images that you're going to see in just a moment. I'm going to show them to you during this very interview. That's number one is the text to images better than anything you've ever seen before, even better than Mid Journey or anything that you've heard about. It's the newest, it just came out and we've trained the model so that it produces the finest text to image. That's number one. Number two, we have those walking, talking humitars. That's what we uh, call them. Those are those uh, human-based avatars. They're based on real human beings. Uh, the human beings, they, they stand in front of a camera and their gestures are recorded and then their mouth is made to move, of course, to the text to speech nice. that you type in. That's number two. And number three, we have the actual text to speech that's the best anywhere. It's based partially, some of them, on real human beings as well. Um, and the voices are extremely accurate and extremely human sounding because they're based on real humans and it came out just amazing. So those are basically the three features that I'm going to show you. So right. those are those three things and tell me whenever you want me to show them off. I could yeah, jump Todd, in. And Todd, jump. I'm ecstatic about actually seeing it in action. Obviously, my customers too. And to be honest, he got, I mean, when it comes to text to speech, Todd's technology got the best out there. Like they got actual human voices. And we're going to, he's going to show us everything right now. Go yeah, ahead. I may have to hold the microphone up to the speaker, but we'll, we'll, we'll try to sample those as well. But let's right. start out with the images. Let's see if I could share my screen. We're looking at the images right here. Um, and basically, uh, I'm going to just make some of them larger. And I want you to tell me if you could see it when I when I click on it and, and tell me if it uh, does. I'm going to download this one here. In order to get that image, I typed in sailboat with white sails on a lake in the Adirondacks in early October. With the foliage in the background. Nice. Now the Adirondacks are in New York State, and I know what they look like. Mm. And I was just stunned at the quality that came out. I mean, this is an incredible image, and that's just the text to image feature. Then here's one. I'm going to show you another one. I do. Yes, it shows. <laughs> now that looks like Brad Pitt. That that's Brad Pitt right there. 100%. I just said Brad Pitt lying in a field of flowers, and that's. <laughs> what I actually got. That looks uh, realistic. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was surprised at the quality there. Then <clears throat> on another one, I just came back from a cruise to Alaska. Mm -hmm. During the cruise, we went up what's called a fjord. A fjord right. is like uh, a very thin, narrow waterway. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, actually see if I could recreate the scene because I have a picture. I actually took a picture when I was off the ship. I was off the um, the boat that I, that took me out there, the cruise ship. Right. And I took a picture of it in front of the glacier. 
so I knew what it should look like. So I wanted to see if I could recreate that with a prop. So I said Disney, I said actually Disney cruise ship, because that's what I was on, in front of the glacier in this particular fjord. And tell me if you could see a Disney cruise ship in front of the glacier in the fjord. I mean, that's a crazy image. <laughs> now, I even specified there should be some icebergs, small icebergs, which were also that day in my shot in that fjord. And sure enough, it even put the icebergs into that photo. And it just looks so similar to what I had actually shot that I was, you know, absolutely stunned. It's crazy. Then I said, OK, in the past, these text to image models, they weren't able to produce really great um, you know, models. Mm. When I say models, I mean, you know, like female models, male models, young women, older women, whatever, good looking yeah. people. So I wanted to do that. So that's the next thing I'm going to, I'm going to see if I could show you. Yeah. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I haven't even yeah. started yet. This is, um, can you see the girl? I do. Yes. Yeah, all I did is I said, young blonde girl, I, I think I specified the age mm. on the beach mountains in the background and <laughs> that's what came out I, I got this this gorgeous model I think I did write that she should be you know very good looking or something like that it's a beautiful young woman right and that's what I got so this is just the text to image now to do a text to image I'm going to switch back to my actual um the inside of the software back to the home so this is where you you start out so I just showed you the images that's AI images that's on the right here you see that on the right yeah. And all you do is you start with a prompt, you just click on explore, and then you just type in what you want it to, you know, generate for you, such as, uh, let's see, um, astronaut on the moon with the earth in the background and, uh, an alien spaceship, <laughs> right? And then I visualize that and it's coming up right now. And there we have four choices. Um, we have the, here's a moon and the earth in the background. That's nice. We could, uh, of course, specify that we just want earth next time. <laughs> this one has the earth in the background. You could see that right there. Okay. Right. So that's the image module, and I wanted to make sure you saw that. But we just get crazier from there. So imagine for a second for us what you could do with such high quality images. Um, you basically are in a position here where you can produce unlimited visual content. All right. So you don't need stock images anymore because, yeah. as you saw from the quality, of what I did with that woman. And no, the I, I, th I think you literally that, killed the stock images business model. <laughs> yeah, and, and previously I'd say no, because yeah. you hadn't reached that point in terms of the excellence of the quality, mm -hmm. but the yeah. quality is just absolutely phenomenal. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you, uh, we're gonna go back and we're going to get out of this section and now we're gonna go to the voices. We'll do the humans last, there's three things. Remember I said there's three pillars. Yeah. So we took care of the images just now to show you how you could get incredible text to images. Now I want to show you how you get incredible text to voices. So that's the module that we're in right now. I just clicked on it on the left here. Mm -hmm. And you can actually have these um, voices speak with each other if you want. And the way that you would do that is you would actually start with one and then add a paragraph and then you'd have another and another and another. Serious. <laughs> yeah. You that's that? crazy. So, You're going to tell me you got that. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. So Ian, for instance, we want to add somebody instead of Ian. So we go to voice type ultra lifelike and you get with the bundle, you're going to be getting a hundred of these. And uh, we'll go to another ultra lifelike one and I'll play some of them so you can hear some of their quality. Let me see. I'll play a few. Here's Natalie. Welcome to Bora K. One of the most beautiful beaches in the world can be found in the Philippines. Canadian. <laughs> enjoy and feel the summer breeze on this white sand beach. I mean, that sounds so human. All right. Now, if you really want to hear a human, some of them are not broadcasty, but really good for like reading books. Listen to this right. guy. 
Welcome to Borke. One of the most beautiful beaches in the world can be found in the Philippines. Relax, enjoy, and feel the summer breeze on this white sand beach. Wow, Todd. Honestly, you, you, you guys have done an amazing job with the voices. Yeah, I like that guy. No, the thing is with him, you know how he's speaking a little slowly? You actually will have controls so that you could speed it up if you'd like. And then you don't have to necessarily get stuck with him sounding slow. You could actually speed it up. So anyway, I was showing you um, how to add somebody in there. So in you just click on them and you just click add. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then after you do that, you just choose them from uh, the app. Well, where did I put him? Let's see. Add actor. And now it was ultra lifelike. And we wanted to add, let's say we'll add Christiana. We'll add her. And now she's a person that we can add. So we've added her and now we could write something for her to say. I, I'd like to go to the beach, but the weather is raining outside or something like that. And then Ian would come back and he would say something else if it was Ian. Landon, but he's it's Landon, right? Because we yeah. picked Landon. So then Landon, we'll say, um, why don't we wait until tomorrow when the sun comes out? Anything, right? So then, right. You just put that there, and if you want a preview of that before you even save it or render it, you just could mm -hmm. press play, and basically it will give you a. Um, you have to put your cursor at the very beginning and then press play. And then it takes about a minute or so for it to crunch it all down. And then um, it will speak what you just wrote, obviously. I think every customer of mine, and I mean 100% conversion, once they see this. Because once they see this, they all Hi, want to have to go to the beach, but the weather is raining outside. Why don't we wait until tomorrow when the sun comes out? Well, you see how they spoke to each other right there? Whole conversation, yeah. Yeah. So, and it was so natural. And then mm -hmm. there's some controls on the right hand side of the screen. You can see the speed yes, can be controlled. Uh, right now they're at 1x, even though it says 0.5, we didn't actually highlight or click on the sentence yet. So uh, when we do, then we could change the speed. And we could also change the pause between paragraphs if we want. But I tend to like the speed, generally speaking, the normal without having to you know, alter it. Yeah. And I don't need to usually put pauses in. You could usually uh, just use your commas and that sort of thing, uh, or period for that. So yeah. that's the story. We have just uh, a, a huge number of these. Uh, I actually wrote it down. If you get the bundle, instead of getting just 12 ultra lifelike voices, you get 100 of them and then 370 additional premium voices, which are almost as good, believe it or not, in 140 languages. And you can control things like the style, the pitch, the speed, and the mood of the uh, premium voices, not the ultra lifelike, but the premium, um, because the ultra lifelike naturally have those inflections uh, built in. They can sense what you're saying in your sentence right. and they can actually change what they're sounding like based on what you're writing. So they don't actually need those additional uh, controls. But the 370 premium voices, which are almost as good as the ultra lifelike, we have those controls thrown in as well. Yeah, I mean, you see me quiet because I'm just thinking about the possibilities until now of everything I've seen so far. It's just, I'm, 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 I'm in shock. Yeah, imagine for a podcast. Yeah, let's play that again. Why don't we wait until tomorrow when the sun comes out? <laughs> wait, let me start yeah. with me. Hi, I'd like to go to the beach, but the weather is raining outside. Why don't we wait until tomorrow when the sun comes yeah. out? <laughs> It, do, you, do you see how the inflections change? Like when she said, but the weather is raining outside, she sounded mm. sad. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was built in. The AI was able to understand what emotion should be applied. It's like someone can actually create a podcast, a script, and just put the content out there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's not perfect. Uh, you do have to play with it sometimes. There's a few right. words that you mispronounce, and then you'd have to type it a little differently. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you need to uh, choose a different actor uh, to say what you want them to say because they may sound better in a certain context. But when you just consider, you know, 
where we've come and how close this is to replacing me as a voiceover artist is just incredible. And in this case, you know, because it's a conversational back and forth, it's more than just doing, you know, a sales script or something like that. Exactly. I don't want to take up too much of your time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the third and I'm going to show you a little demo. It's the AI humans. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to add multiple humans to your video. Okay. So AI humans has uh, the option of adding slides to your video. So depending on your plan, you can add up to 12 slides to your video. Each slide can have up to one minute of content and each slide can have a different humitar. Let me show you how. So the first slide has Amy as the humitar. The second slide can have a different humitar. The third slide also can have a different humitar and the fourth slide also can maybe have uh, Lee as the humitar here. Okay, so this is how you uh, add multiple humitars to your video. And uh, and not only that, once the video is rendered, it would be a seamless transition from one presenter to another, and it would make the video look extremely interactive. So this is how you can go about adding uh, multiple humitars to your video. Thank you. Okay, so that shows you how you can actually do several different ones. How do they turn out? Well, let's see how they turn out. So there's Jenny. You could you can move Jenny. You could make her bigger. Play script. So press on the play script. Uh, yeah, right here. Yeah, you won't see her mouth. It on like, average, it right. takes sunlight approximately eight minutes. Okay. Yeah, I see. I think the preview down there, under Jenny, at the end. I don't. I think it's not until you render it that you actually see. Her. Oh, okay. Okay. It takes sunlight approximately eight minutes and twenty okay. seconds to travel from the sun to the earth. However, okay, however, that was the Jenny voice and the Jenny avatar. Now mm. let's go back. We won't create it right now, but let's go back and look at one that was actually just recently made. With AI humans, you will get a total of 76 of our real human avatars, which we call humatars. Some brand new humitars coming your way soon will even be in a seated position. With Synthesis AI Studio Max, you will also receive all upcoming humitars as soon as they are available. All the tools, all in one place. The best human voices available, humitars to speak what you want, flip faces, create stunning images and more, and all unlimited with AI script and prompt assistant built in. Oops really were matching the speaking very well what you saw just now i was just focused on that actually i was just looking at the lips and it was, it was yeah mind-blowing to be honest I mean, so that's is... the third pillar i mean there's so much more to this obviously i can't get mm -hmm. to everything i have so much written down and it'll just it'll we'll be here too long but we will be going over everything during that extended webinar the one that comes up friday night at eight o'clock eastern time and then we have another one for those that miss it on 10 a.m. in the morning on Saturday. All right. Um, let me actually turn the screen off so you could see me again. I'm not sure how much of me you've been seeing this whole time, but I'm going to press stop sharing. Now I can see you fully. Okay. Yeah. You may have seen like a, a little bit of me before. Um, so anyway, that I, you could tell I'm really excited about it. Obviously, uh, I've already seen what we could do with these humitars before, although I've never seen them in HD like that before. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the high depth and we even have a super high depth that you get as part of the bundle. Um, so I was excited now to see that. But of course, you saw how excited I am about the fact that the text to image is awesome. is up there with anything else, you know, right. that's now at the very top of the game. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, the text to speech is the best with the human voices and how you can have them talk with each other. So between those three pillars that I just showed you, the the ability to make videos with real, you know, walking, talking human beings that speak what you type. And between that and the fact that you can make images that you could use as backgrounds or for whatever else you want. And of course, if you just want to do straight text to speech that it comes out so well. I mean, I'm just so excited about this product. Honestly, and the price, the price you've got for that bundle, especially on, on the 11th, Friday at 8 p.m., 
is crazy, guys. I mean, there the price is gonna keep going up. And we, you know, Todd was actually explaining actually it's a dime sale. So you yeah. have to be on that webinar because every thirty three sales it goes up three dollars. So exactly. even on Saturday morning, yeah, we want to be fair and we think it'll still be pretty close on Saturday morning to the price. Right. Betting. We think it'll be close, but it may already be a little bit higher on Saturday than Friday night. And I don't want folks to get mad at us, but it's it is a dime sale. And oh, we're starting at eight o'clock on Friday night. And this is all before it gets released. Plus, you'll be getting another coupon, a webinar only coupon as well. In addition to that, so it really will pay to make sure you put in your calendar either eight o'clock Friday night Eastern time. If you could at all stay up in Europe for that, that would be great. Or if you could get up really early, um, if you're in Asia, whatever, on eight o'clock Friday night. And then on uh, Saturday morning, if you miss it, 10 a.m. Eastern time, that's going to get the other bunch of people that missed out on Friday night. But then when we do launch it, right around noon or one o'clock Eastern time on Saturday, which is the 12th, the price is going to go up um, beyond that dime sale. It's just going to keep going. Plus the coupon is going to change. Uh, that webinar only coupon won't be there anymore. So try to be on those webinars if you at all can. One of those two webinars so that you get in at the lowest possible price. Right. And I know, I know Todd's webinars. Uh, he gets a whole lot of people on a live webinar. Usually it's packed and sometimes you can't even access it because it's very limited. The registrant count is very limited. We'll go to webinar. Yeah, we're going to try to set it up to get as many people in as possible, but try to arrive early. So for the eight o'clock one, try to arrive by 745. And for the 10 o'clock one on Saturday, try to arrive at 945 a.m. Exactly. Yes, yeah, this is AI Studio. We're really, really excited about this. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer it. I am as well. I think I get the whole software, the whole concept from the very beginning. I just wanted them to see it in action because, and I got a lot of customers as well that are very smart and they get it right away. But I just wanted this interview so they can see it hands on from you. Ah, very good. Well, we yeah. will see you there. I know you're going to be there, so we'll see you there. And of course, everybody else, make sure to sign up on this very page. Uh, you want to make sure to get signed up for a couple of reasons uh, and you want to do it now. Uh, one reason is obviously so that you'll get notifications about the webinar and you could get the lowest possible price. Number two, if for some reason something happens and you can't get on those webinars, either one of them, then that's your best way to get a replay. That's the best chance that you'll have to get the replay. So make sure that you sign up right now after you watch this. Perfect. Thank you so much, Todd. I mean, I'm excited for this. I know a lot of people are going to be buying into Synthesis AI Studio and good luck. I mean, yeah, you created the beast right here. OK, thank you very much. And for those of you that may already have uh, one of those three pillars, as I said, they'll be an even, you know, a special deal for you, too. But you, we'll, we'll explain it all on the webinar. We're going to be giving out much more information then, or you could ask us directly on that webinar because we have a team of people that will be answering your questions. So if you're at all confused, if you may have one piece of this already or something like that, don't worry. Just come to the webinar. We'll explain all to you and what to do and how to get in um, so that you can get the rest of it. And it is a lot here for you to get. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doc. Okay, take care. Take care.